uh, I would feel comfortable doing that. Absolutely. And then, you know, I'm, I'm kind of drawn Payne was a guy that I really wanted at the trade deadline. Then there was rumor that they were actually after him and now they're freeing up all this money. I'm like, Oh God, it'd be nice to have drawn Payne, but I don't know if, if a way to build a team is through interior defensive line and, and paying these guys a ton of money. I'm starting to fall in love with kind of just going this one year veteran route and keeping your cap flexibility going forward. I mean, Justin Houston's a, a name out there that is a double digit sack guy still. He's in his mid 30s. He's going to be a rotational pass rusher. You can go get guys like him, you know, clowny, whoever. I mean, there's there's tons of these names out there that you can look at that are veterans. And you're like, I don't know. They're like close to being on the edge. It's probably a one year fix, but I'm okay with that because, like I said, it keeps that flexibility going forward. You're not paying a, a bunch of money long term i mean even if you gave clowny like 10 million for a year okay it's a lot of money but then it's gone after after next year he's gone he you can move on from him I, i'm starting to kind of fall in love with this thought process kind of like what the eagles did where they just had a bunch of guys on one year contracts that were in their early to mid 30s trying to chase a ring and then you keep your flexibility going forward so i don't know i mean that's the more and more that i look at it i feel like that's a route that i really I'm considering and almost hoping the 49ers take because these guys are productive. These guys are out here chasing a ring. They're going to do everything they can to get over one last time or get that first ring. Why not take a, a chance on guys that you know can play and then you you remain flexible in your cap going forward? I mean, to me, it just seems, seems kind of like a no-brainer. Yeah, I like it. Um Another name I heard for the interior, because especially because Deron Payne, whether you like him or not, sounds like he might get tagged, which would yep. kind of take him out of yep. the conversation anyway. Uh, so then there's obviously a Hargrave, Javon Hargrave from the uh, Eagles. Uh, and But some lesser known, flashier, less flashy names would be like uh, Onyemata from the Saints. Uh, it's a pretty good D tackle. And I think there's one... Uh, is it Dalvin Tomlinson from the Vikings um, is also available. So those are some options there. And I like your, you know, Clowney. It's interesting. Houston is interesting, old, but, you know, still productive. He's been good for the last few years for the Colts and wherever he, I think he's somewhere else now. And then uh, here's one who's not so old, who first thing you're going to think of when I say his name is bust, but then you're going to think about, well, I mean, one would be Arden Key, but then same team that we got Arden Key from, Cleland Farrell is a free agent. And he's a bust for like fourth overall or wherever they overdrafted him to. But he seems to have been playing a little bit better and seems like kind of a perfect Kasurik reclamation project, maybe. Yeah, de I mean, definitely. He's been actually pretty decent <laughs> over the last year or so. Good rotational piece. I, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, you need depth for sure. I think um, Zach Allen was another name that I talked about. Like if you're going to spend some money in free agency, you can probably get him around that $9 million, $10 million mark. He's only but 25. Jesse, you're taking him from a division foe. He also. Jesse, what what yeah. about the dance? The dance he does. That little dance. Yeah, 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 exactly. It? Yeah, yeah. Perfect, right? So, <laughs> no, I can't handle it. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a real consideration. But I just. Hey, whenever you know what? Brings and, up, I'm like, but what about the dance? What about the dance? He, you know, the thing about him though, too, is if you look at his numbers and I'm not saying he's going to turn into this, but he's kind of on that Trey Hendrickson arc a little bit, you know, and we saw him, he had the one final really, really great year before he left With New Orleans Saints. and got paid by the yeah. Bengals. But man, it's, it's like you, you look at those first couple of years and you see the same similar progression. You see his uh -huh. play. I mean, he, he can get after it a little bit. I mean, he's wrecked some games for the 49ers and uh, I'm a big you know, fan maybe of Trey Hendrickson. Less, I, that's what I'm saying. And he may not be that guy for sure. I don't want to like just put it out there. He's, that's who he's going to turn into. But the, but the you're career arc that. seems similar. Yeah, I like that. That's that's something I hadn't heard or seen or noticed. So appreciate that. Um, 